It was time to end this war. President Joe Biden on Tuesday defiantly rejected criticism of his decision to stick to a deadline to pull out of Afghan this week, a move that left up to 200 Americans in country along with thousands of U.S.-aligned Afghan citizens. Biden called the tumultuous U.S. evacuation from Afghanistan a success, saying it was the best available option. I take responsibility for the decision. Now some say we should have started mass evacuation sooner. And couldn't this have been done, have been done in a more orderly manner? I respectfully disagree. The bottom line is there is no evacuation, evacuation from the end of a war that you can run without the kinds of complexities, challenges, and threats we faced. None. But U.S. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell said Americans had been abandoned behind enemy lines, calling it a disgraceful and disastrous departure. Biden portrayed the chaotic exit as a logistical success that would have been just as messy even if it had been launched weeks earlier, while staying in the country will have required committing more American troops. That was the choice, the real choice between leaving or escalating. I was not going to extend this forever war. And I was not extending a forever exit. In his first remarks, since the final pullout of U.S. forces on Monday, Biden said 5,500 Americans had been evacuated and that the United States had leverage over the Islamist militant group to ensure 100 to 200 others could also depart if they wanted to. More than 123,000 people were evacuated from Kabul in a massive but chaotic airlift by the United States and its allies over the past two weeks. It also saw the death of 13 U.S. service members and scores of Afghan civilians in a suicide bombing outside Kabul airport in an attack claimed by ISIS-K. Other Taliban fighters took inventory of destroying U.S. helicopters, their windows and control panels smashed in. The Taliban now control more territory than when they last ruled before being ousted in 2001 at the start of America's longest war which took the lives of nearly 2,500 U.S. troops and an estimated 240,000 Afghans and cost some 2 trillion U.S. dollars.